Hi, core family. Hi, friends. How are you guys doing today? Can we see a thumbs up if you're doing good? Thumbs up if you're doing good today. Awesome. Yay. Good to see. Did you guys have a good weekend so far? Ooh, tell us about your weekend. Mm, I want to hear what you did. Hmm. Did you have a good weekend this weekend? I had a great weekend. Did you have a good weekend? I had a pretty good weekend, actually. Yeah, it was pretty good. All right, you guys. We're going to be starting you off with opening session. Yay! And you could probably guess after the song what the lesson is going to be about, mm. okay? So pay close attention because at the end, we're going to ask you if you know what the lesson's about and we're going to see if you're correct. All right. Are you guys ready? Can I hear you scream, yeah, we're ready! Are you ready to sing with us? I don't hear you. It's not loud oh, it's enough. It's not loud enough, yeah. Mm. Go louder. Louder. Hey, okay, now we perfect. hear you. perfect. Okay, let's get our singing voices ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're ready to get started, you guys. Okay? The Lord told Noah there's gonna be a flirty, flirty Lord told Noah there's gonna be a flirty, flirty Get those children out of the mighty, mighty children of the Lord. The Lord told Noah to build him an archy, archy Lord told Noah to build him an archy, archy Build it out of Grover and archy, archy Children of the Lord. So rise and shine, and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine, and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine, and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The animals they came, they came in by twosies, twosies, animals they came, they came in by twosies, twosies, elephants and Kangaroosies, roosies, children of the Lord. It rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies. Elephants drove those animals crazy, crazy, children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine. And give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. And give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Good job, everyone. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys sounded so good. Yay. Yay. So do you guys know what the lesson this is, is about? about? Hmm. Let's hear your guesses. Hmm. If you guys guessed Noah's Ark, you guys are correct! Yay! Yay! Give yourself a round of applause. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us today during opening session. We hope you guys have a great weekend and you guys had a great time with us. And we hope you learned something new in the lesson. All right? Bye, Bye Core family! Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Sunday School lesson. Today we'll be learning about the story of Noah's Ark and the importance of patience and obedience. Now one day, God saw that the world had become evil. The people were not listening to his commandments and causing lots of violence, all except for one man named Noah and his family. Now God told Noah to bring out all his building materials, kind of like this piece of wood, and his building tools, like this hammer, to build a giant boat called an ark. Now this ark would be so big that it would fit a pair of every kind of animal in the world. So God wanted to protect Noah and his family and some of the animals because he planned on destroying all the evil in the world with a giant flood. Now, if you guys don't know what a flood is, it's when there's so much water that all the land is covered and you can't see anything but the water. So Noah spent many, many years in fact, almost 120 years building this ark. Now, it wasn't easy. It was a lot of hard work just building it. And Noah also faced lots of mocking and laughter from the people who were evil because they kept saying things like, why are you building an ark when there is no water? But Noah didn't listen to them and he persisted because he had a strong faith in Christ and he was doing as he was told. So when the flood was near, Noah started one by one, gathering pairs of animals onto the ark that he built. So he gathered some, what is this? Do you guys know what this is? It has a mane, 
some ears. This is a lion. Yeah, so he gathered pairs of lions onto the ark. He also gathered pairs of, what is this? A rabbit, exactly, or a bunny. <laughs> he also gathered really large animals, kind of like this one over here. You guys know what this one is? One with a big trunk? An elephant, exactly. He also gathered some smaller creatures like this one over here that loves to climb trees. Yes, monkeys. And he also gathered some, what is this with a tail? Some foxes as well. So he gathered many, many more animals than just these. So one by one, he was able to get them all onto the ark. Now, after seven days on the ark, it started raining really hard. And this was the start of the flood, which lasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Now, when the flood ended, uh, Noah sent out a dove. This one to see if it was safe enough to land. Now, Noah wanted to see, um, based on whether the dove returns or not, if it was safe to land. If the dove returns, that means that the dove did not find a place to stay and it's not yet safe enough to land. Whereas if it never returned, then the dove has found a place to stay and that he could land safely. So the first time that he sent out a dove, the dove went and came back. So he waited in the ark for another seven days. The second time he sent out the dove, it went and it came back, but this time it had an olive leaf in its mouth, like this. So no one knows that there is some, some vegetation and trees that are starting to show, but still not quite yet ready for him and his family to land. So he waited another seven days. Now, lastly, he took the dove, he sent it, and this time the dove never returned. So Noah knew that it was safe enough to, to land his family and all the animals. And when he did, God made a rainbow as a covenant and a promise to mankind that he will never destroy the earth ever again and that this is the start of a new life. And that's the story of Noah's Ark. And we should always remember from this story um, the importance of patience and faith and also obeying God's commandments. Now, many people were against Noah. It was very difficult building the ark and Noah had to endure lots and lots of laughter and bullying from the people. Um, but Noah was strong and he trusted in God and kept doing what he was told, even though he spent 120 years building the ark to protect his family and the animals. He waited 40 days and nights plus an extra two weeks in order to make sure it was safe enough to land. So we should always remember in our daily lives to be like Noah, to follow God's commandments and put our trust in God um, and remain patient even though when it's difficult because we should always remember that God has a plan for us. And I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you guys uh, next week and have a wonderful week everyone. Take care. Bye! Nane to Owi Kuji. Good morning, kids. Okay, what we're gonna see answer Jesus. Nane to Owi Isos. Okay. We are going to learn today from 21 to 30. Remember what we were counting? Away, Snaf, Shant, F to U, H U, Su, Shash, Shmir, Epsit, and Meat. Ten. And we said we're gonna use the meat and put it beside the away and see eleven. Meat away. Meat is snaf. Meet shamt, meet if to u, meet it you, meet so u, meet shashf, meet ishmin, meet psit, 
and 20 is what remember 20 is good okay so now we are going to start from good and we say how the good looks like it's a kappa and has dash on the top this is good remember and what is uh, meat meat this is 10 meat okay when we say when we say alpha beta gamma what comes after a uh, uh, kappa we're gonna see okay alpha beta gamma delta a two zeta eta zeta iota kappa lovela so what we said here away is now shom the f to u h u so u shash uh, mean it's seat and meat okay so and where do we say 21 okay 21 we're gonna take the good okay we're gonna take the good and say good away good is now good shant good f to u good h u good so u good shash good is me good if seat and then when we comes good if seat which is 29 when we come to to 30 so we're gonna see what is after kaba is la is lavla so lavla will put dash this will be 30 and 30 means map 30 means what map say map map 30 is map so now we know 10 if i want to count 10 20 30 i will show you okay i'm gonna show you 10 which is yota and line on the top 10 20 kappa and line on the top 20 when we want to say 30 lavla and line on the top 30 okay how you say again 10 which is meat meat yota and line on the top and 20 which is good kappa and line on the top 30 which is uh, map lavla and line on the top now you know okay so it's very easy so we're gonna count again from one to search away snap shom f to u it's you so u shash shmin psit meat meat away which is 11 meat snap meat shant meat f to u meat it's you meat so u meat shash meat shmin meat psit and then 20 which is good 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 away 21 good is now good shunt good f to u good h u good so u good shash good is mean good if seat and then 30 which is map okay See you next time. Goodbye. Hi friends. So today we're going to be doing such a cool craft. Can any of you guess what the craft is about? It's about something related to the lesson. Hmm. Well, if you guessed that we're doing something about Noah's Ark, you guessed correctly. 
And so for today's craft, it's really fun, but we're going to be needing some things first. So I'm going to tell you what we need so that you can go pause this video and grab them and then come back. Is that good? Can I see a thumbs up? Awesome. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is a plastic plate. You can get any plastic plate that you have at home. It can be any size. It can be any color. Just anything that you have works. We're also going to be needing this template. And it has Noah's Ark, it has the rainbow, and it has some animals on it. We're also going to be needing some scissors. And last but not least, we're going to be needing some colors. So, I want you guys to pause this video, go grab everything that we need, and then come back and show me. Is that good? Okay, see you in a few seconds. Did you grab everything that you need to get? Let me see everything. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to start with the first step. And the first step, as you guys know, is to get our template. And we're going to color everything on the template. I want you guys to color every animal. I want you to color the rainbow. And I want you to color Noah's Ark. So I'm going to go color mine. And as soon as I'm done, I'm going to come back and show you. And I want to see yours too. So go pause this video, color, and then come back and show me. I'm going to go color mine too. All right, so I just finished coloring mine, and this is what it looks like. So I didn't color the second half of the bow because I'm only going to be using the top, and I'll show you why in a second. But can I see what yours looks like? Whoa, yours looks amazing. You are such an artist. I love it. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be cutting out all of these pictures so we're gonna cut each tiger on his own each panda on his own each giraffe on its own we're gonna color cut out the rainbow and we're gonna cut out the top half of the bow so i'm gonna go cut them and then i'll come back and show you all right so i just finished coloring and cutting everything this is what they look like so this is the top half of the boat that i was telling you about we also have our rainbow we have some of our animals, and now everything is ready. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to grab our plastic plate and we are going to fold it in half like this. And what I already did is I already put tape behind all of my pictures, but you guys can use tape or glue, whatever you have at home. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first half of the boat and we are going to stick it at the top like this. So I'll do it. There we go. And then you guys know we always tap, 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 tap to make sure that it's stuck. Then we're going to do the same thing with all of our animals. So the first thing we have is the panda. I think I'm going to put my panda on this side. And then we're going to tap. And then we're going to put the other panda right next to him like this. And then we're going to tap. And then we're going to do the same thing with the tiger. So I'm going to put my tiger right here. And I'm going to tap, 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 tap. And then I'm going to take my other tiger and put him right next to his friend. There we go. Then we are going to take our giraffes. I think I'm going to put one giraffe right here. And then I'm going to put the other giraffe right here. And then there's something missing. Does anyone know what's missing? Hmm. You're right. We still did not put up our rainbow. So I'm going to put my rainbow right here. There we go. Oops, one of our pandas fell. Let's put him back up. There we go. And so now the last thing that we're going to need is some water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a blue crayon or marker. And we are going to draw some water down here. So I'm just going to draw some waves and then we just color it in like this so I'll color it in really quickly color 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 there we go so this is it and then you can put the you can put it like right here and then watch it go back and forth and back and forth and there you go now we have Noah's Ark in the water and we have two animals from each kind and we have our rainbow can I see what yours looks like 
Whoa, that looks amazing. I love it. Good job. Give yourself a round of applause. Good job. So this is all for today's craft. I hope you guys had so much fun and I can't wait to do more crafts and more lessons and more Sunday school with you guys. Bye.